Hey there, Dennis Kay. Hi, I'm Stephanie Kay. And we're back to answer your Belize questions and basically just do some banter today about uh, Belize, what it's like, how we ended up there, and uh, where that led us in our lives. Yeah, and any questions you guys might have about us. Uh, I know a lot of you have been watching Dennis's videos for years, so you might have some questions for him as to uh, who knows. Yeah, good. So today, I thought we would talk about something, and that is uh, a question I got yesterday from a client of mine. He said, have you seen people move to Belize who had planned on staying for a long time, but then had to leave or chose to leave? And I said, yeah, you know what? We've seen people that, that come down, they stay for a time, that time could be six months, six years, 10 years, and then for one reason or another, they, they had to go back Yeah. Right to Canada, United States. So you know, it was a good question because he was thinking about himself and his wife who are looking at moving to Belize and calling it their permanent retirement place. So he wanted to know from our experience, what kind of things would make a person leave the beautiful island of Amherst Key? So what would you say? Usually it's not anything to do with Amherst Key. It's not like, oh, I outgrew the island or I'm not happy here anymore or there's something wrong. It's usually um, my grandkids are getting older or I have some brand new grandkids and, uh, you know, they moved to Montana and, you know, I can't just go to Miami. They used to live closer because it's a really close, easy. I used to go to Miami all the time to see my grandparents. And um, if you have a close to the U.S., um, hop, skip, and a jump, no problem. But sometimes people move, their families move farther, and they want to be closer to family. I'd say that's the number one reason. Yeah, right. So somebody comes down, maybe they're in their, their 50s or 60s, and now they're starting to get up there closer to 70, mid-70s. And at that time, they might want to be closer to family, maybe just from, from a caring standpoint, uh, closer to the kids, closer to the grandkids. Mm -hmm. uh, or maybe just their health has gotten to the point now where Amherst Key doesn't provide the level of health care that they need for their particular problems, you know, so they might want to go back to the U.S. Although health care is getting better, I have had, um, well, I've had surgery there. Mm -hmm. I've had all sorts of problems um, taken care of there. I've had better health care there than in many, many places around mm -hmm. the world. And um, I really trust the doctors and nurses in Belize. I have had great, great experiences with them in really bad situations. So, um it's true, though. Maybe sometimes if someone has to have a certain specific something, could be possible. Uh, usually, though, it's, um, well, the kids are in college. We're going to, you know, go and retire. But then the kids get married and have weddings. And then the kids start having kids. And then the kids go to kindergarten. And then grandma and grandpa want to be there for the, you know, grandparents' day and all that fun stuff. So mm. usually they don't end up leaving for good, though. Usually they end up... Um, going for a little while, renting what they have, you know, back there, and then just going back and forth or, you know, coming for a month, a year, or something like that. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I, I think you're right. Also, what I've seen, too, is the kind of people that make stuff happen in their life. Uh, for example, a lot of the people that buy property from us and end up building homes, uh, they're very driven in their personalities. Uh, sometimes they've built, built uh, successful businesses or um, they're, they're high achievers, they're high earners and high achievers. And so they'll, they'll come down to Belize and view Belize as a project, and they might enjoy that for a time, but then they're ready for the next adventure. It's a challenge. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, they like a bucket list. Exactly. Check. Exactly. So they'll come down, they'll buy their land, they'll build their home. Maybe they'll stay for five or 10 years, and they'll sort of uh, use this as a time to explore Central America. But then they get that itch, they get that bug. And then they uh, they go off and do something else. Which says a lot for Belize because it's um, like adventure, but it's light. Mm. Um, in saying that, I don't mean that you don't get a lot of adventure. I mean that you go and it's safe. You go and it's easier. You go and you can speak the language. You go and you have friends immediately because Belizeans are wonderful, warm people. So it's not like you need to learn another language or it's very hard to get um, paperwork all sorts of things like that. So maybe they conquer that and then they want to learn another language mm. or to climb a mountain or to sail, you know, around the world or something like that. So, yeah, because once you get a taste of new experiences, in fact, Belize did that for me. Uh, we didn't travel much before we moved to Belize. We, were already, we had only been to maybe a handful of countries uh, when we moved to Belize. Two probably. Yeah. And then when I moved to Belize, 
I thought, wow, there's there's an amazing world out there. I mean, there is a lot to see and a lot to discover and a lot to experience. Uh, so then after that, we started traveling. And we started dragging people along with us, too. Yeah. Uh, we travel with friends. Uh, we've had family come stay with us for extended periods. Um, we've had both sets of parents come, grandparents come. Um, yeah, it's just one of the wonderful things about going to Belize was we were able to show it to people that would never have gone there except mm. they love us yeah. and they knew that it was safe because we were there and then they went there and they saw how cool it was so that, that was is. really neat yeah that, that that's really cool uh, so for example when your mom and dad came down uh, my mom and dad came down my grandparents your got grandparents came ports yeah come. yeah my brother and his wife my sister and her husband yeah uh, other fr other friends that we had come down, and uh, it's really neat because you know you're you're enjoying this completely different life. That uh, sometimes, not all the time, but sometimes your friends and family members don't quite understand. So, for example, yeah, you, know, you would you would call them on the phone, and I'm doing this and that, and uh, you know they love you, but they don't really understand what your life is like because you know they they never experienced it. So to see that, to see them come down and enjoy, even if it was only for a couple weeks. Uh, you know, every few years to have them with us. That was a gift. It really was. And then they're not really worried about you because they know who your friends are. They know what your neighborhood looks like. Mm. They know where you are. Um, they, it's when you say, you know, oh, I ran down to Ruby's to get this breakfast. And then I went, you know, to go get groceries here. And then I ran into so-and-so. They can picture it because they know exactly what you're talking about because they've done it too. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, um, yeah, and they've been to France, you know, all different. Mm -hmm. It's nice because you you might have the desire and the vision. Uh, others around you might not have it, but you can also get them to experience it a little bit. And we and, didn't and think that some fun. would, you know, because yeah. um, we didn't know if people were travelers or if they even wanted to, but maybe they surprised themselves too. Mm -hmm. And um, because they love us and wanted to support us, we have amazingly supportive families that we love so much. And uh, it's just been amazing. It's yeah. been a really good time yeah really to be cool. able to share our adventures never trade it for the world no yeah so to answer my client's question do we see people that have come down and then leave for some reason yeah they do and that's i think it's it's good because sometimes with a decision like this we put so much pressure on ourselves like yeah. well you know what what happens if this doesn't work out or what happens if i have to come back if you if you come back who cares, right? You had a year. You yeah. had six months. Yeah. You had whatever you had. You had six or, years. You had 10 years of living somewhere really cool like Amber's Key. Or even if you only go for a month and you have a great investment there. Yeah, exactly. You know? Exactly. It's still a win to me. So, I mean, nothing is permanent in this life anyway. How many times do, does a person change careers? I think they say uh, a person changes careers six times. Uh, a job, dozens of times. A like career, six times. So... You know, you can, nothing in your life has to be decided today for the in, your entire future. Uh, you can do something now, change gears, uh, adjust. And plus, people's likes change, you know, over time. What you liked as a young person may change as you get older. Um, but that's okay. That's, that's part of the adventure of life. I didn't think mine would change. I didn't realize that my health would be so that the heat would bother me so much. Maybe it'll change you back. I really hope it will. But, um... Things change and you just have to roll with it and make happiness where you are. And that might change, but as long as you have, you know, each other, you have yourself, you have good goals, you have good dreams, make them happen, keep going. It'll be fun. How can I say it any better? Thanks, baby. It's been a wild ride. You should see what's coming up next. Uh-oh. <laughs> <laughs> see you guys. Thanks. Bye.